Hello, Abraham. What a cool little hot seat. (laughs) I understand and play with my vibration in areas of my life manifesting. So if I want an amount of money, I play and test how quickly that can come into my life. Do you find the universe to be responsive to your request? Depending on how clear I am, yeah. Yeah, good. I suck at relationships. (laughs) Uh, And so it goes. (laughs) Next. (laughs) So I don't suck at relationships. I'm trying to... I'm better at... Attracting I'm, dollars than I am relationships. I am absolutely. So you know that thing you do mm. with dollars? Do that mm. with relationships. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, what are the vibrational components? We think that what's happening, and this is not an uncommon thing, mm-hmm. the dollars feel. more neutral to you because they don't seem to have a personal opinion about anything (laughs) so it feels to you that when you just set your mind to it that there's nobody else that really can get in the way of that and so it's easier for you to expect a universal conglomeration of cooperative components to assist you in getting what you want relative to dollars but when you have another person that you have identified who has opinions then you feel out of control and the reason your relationships don't go so well is because you seek that control me (laughs) hard to believe we know and since you can't vibrate for another person you can't even know really where another person is in relationship to anything that they want and so We know it just sounds crazy, but you really have to adopt the attitude that what the other person is doing in the relationship, take it easy now, (laughs) is irrelevant. Because if you make what they're doing relevant and it upsets your vibration so that you don't stay true to your own desire, then If you're not holding a stable signal, then you can't get from this person or from anywhere else what you want. We make a strong statement often that most of you offer most of your vibration in response to what you are observing. Well, there's nothing that you observe more than the other people in your life experience. It's so easy to make somebody else responsible for how you feel because they're right there just rubbing it in all the time aren't they (laughs) and so you will do yourself a big favor when you reach the place that you accept that nobody's doing anything to you because nobody can offer a vibration for you only you and we know they influence you and they're there and they behave in ways that you would like them to be different but you just cannot get around the fact that your vibration equals your resistance and that's the reason that everything plays out the way that it does and you know what else we really appreciate on your behalf you don't like it that much but we really like it when others mess with you here's what we really want to say we really like it when there's a stubborn person in your life who will not behave the way you need them to in order for you to feel good because only a person like that will free you from the madness of trying to get other people to change their ways so that you can feel better because it fosters a weakness in you everybody's running around looking for the perfect person who does not even exist when what you're really wanting is just someone nice that you can play off of while you maintain your vibrational frequency and then attract from wherever you are all that you want we think the 
relationship vows should go something like I like you pretty good let's see how it goes or rather than that I promise that I'll be good to you no matter how rotten you are until we die <laughs> I like you pretty good let's see how it goes it is my promise to you that I will do my best to look for the positive aspects in you and everyone else and I hold you not responsible in any way shape or form for the way I feel I am completely responsible for how I'm feeling now depending on how well you know them because I have an inner being who has a very high opinion of a lot of things and is transmitting a signal 24 hours a day and offering that signal and it is my desire that I be a vibrational match to that so I cannot focus upon the flaws in you because that would put me in a very low signal and then I couldn't be in vibrational alignment with who I really am and when I'm not in vibrational alignment with who I really am then my point of attraction is not what I want it to be and I don't get what I want from you or from anyone else so I'm not going to do that that's what you want to say <laughs> to others I can't control if I do that. <laughs> and so it goes. <laughs> so when I have that person, we co-create all the time. And then I am not hearing the language of love that I oh, like to Oh, blah, hear. blah, 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 blah. So I run in the other direction. We're playing with you, sort of. But here's the thing. That's okay, I'm here. <laughs> so, do you like the idea of the receptive mode? Yes. And do you like the idea of what you're receiving, which is broader perspective, which is really, really helpful? And so, if you care about the receptive mode, understand that how you set your tuner to receive is through what you broadcast. Mm -hmm. So, what you're thinking is also setting your tuner at the same time. So if you're making lists of positive aspects, you're doing a really nice job of setting your tuner to receive things that you really like, you see. So whether you don't have someone in your life right now, or whether you have someone in your life who isn't pleasing you, in any case, you're still standing in the absence of something that you want. And you cannot stand in the absence of what you want with the absence of what you want being the dominant vibration that you're offering and have it be any different and that's why different faces different places the same experience over and over again so you want to do something different you want to offer a vibration that's more consistent and so we would encourage a sort of hiatus from the subject for a while we would say to ourselves things like I'm getting myself ready for that person I'm getting myself ready I'm getting myself into a practiced vibration that will bring to me something that will be really harmonious with my practiced vibration and we want to say to you gently but loudly softly but clearly that's what's happening all the time anyway you are getting back exactly what you are emitting all the time every single time so what you want to say to yourself is oh that's not working out so well maybe I want to offer something different vibrationally and the thing is you can't offer something different vibrationally when you're in that spiral you have to do something to sort of stop the spiral and so we would say let some time pass a woman said to us one day this is our best story about this this will really help you to get the point that we're making with you she said Abraham can you give me some words so that I can help my son find a mate and we said no <laughs> we said if he finds a mate right now she'll be just like he is she'll be unemployed down on herself not having a very good time they'll just bang around together make each other miserable and then they'll break apart and she said that's exactly what's been happening and we said what you want is to help your son to find a vibration that will attract to him something that he wants not something that he already is in other words what's coming back to you is not a mirror of who you are but it is a mirror of how you feel because the universe does not hear what you say the universe hears what you mean and what you mean creation is not about those big goals and moving toward them creation is about that all-day rhetoric that's coming out of your mouth or wafting through your mind 
In other words, it's what you're doing. As you're looking out into the world, are you looking for things to appreciate? Are you looking for things to compliment? Are you making a list of positive aspects of others? Are you making a list of positive aspects about yourself? Most never make a list of positive aspects about yourself. But these are the things that you're really wanting to do. You're wanting to broadcast to the universe who you really are. Here's another story that will help you understand what we mean. Man said, we want to sell our house. We really need to sell our house. We've outgrown it. We said, well, tell us about it. And he said, well, it's much too small. And the yard's a mess and we don't have enough places to put everything. And it's getting kind of run down and lots of things don't work. And we said, listen to the advertisement that you're sending to the universe. <laughs> Come and buy this ramshackle of a mess of a house from me. It's all broken down. It's not big enough. It's a big mess. Want to buy it? <laughs> so he said to him, do you remember when you bought the house? Yes. Our family was smaller, really young. We were so excited. It was just right for us at the time. We said, was it already landscaped? No, there was no landscaping. Every weekend we'd go buy another bush or another tree and we'd plant it together as a family. Was it furnished when you moved in? No. Every week we'd go buy something else. We just furnished it little by little. It was really fun, he remembered. He remembered how much they loved that house, how good it felt to be in it, how it was just right for them. A week later, his house sold. Once he activated within himself the feeling that he was wanting to attract, you see. So what's the advertisement that you're sending out? I'm a lonely, lonely man. <laughs> no. I'm not lonely. I just keep attracting terrible people into my experience. You want to broadcast something different. Here's the thing. You can't broadcast something different than you feel. And the law of attraction is continuing to compound the way you do feel. We've exaggerated all of this, but you really did ask no, for I it. I understand. So <laughs> if you will say plenty of time, I don't need to rush this. I'm going to take this opportunity to really get myself in a good feeling place. And the better feeling place that I'm in, then the better feeling everything will come to me. And then begin watching as you began here today, telling us about the aspects of your life that unfold so easily for you. Begin noticing, not just in the area of finance, but in the area of relationship. And not just relationship with your significant other, but relationships with the people that you work with, and relationships with family, and relationships with friends. Everything gets better once you get hold of this notion it's a law-based thing that I am the emitter of the signal that is the reason that every single thing comes back to me and we know that's hard because all those people out there that are reflecting back to you feel like they are their own person and that they are doing their own thing and that they are doing to you the things that they're doing to you but they are not no one does anything to you that's not active in your vibration ever you see nice to know isn't it don't you love having an experience that sort of wakes you up and makes you realize i didn't even know i had that vibration going on until this happened and then you can do something about cleaning it up okay good enough good thank you